<laughs> hello to Joe and Zanny Amun. And hello St Helens. Hello St Helens. Uh, very good to have you with us. Now you live in Islington and have, for the last year have been coming to church with us in North Kensington. How did we manage to arrange that to happen? What, how come? Uh, well, um, I, I suppose wonderfully um, you weren't too far from us, um, but the way it worked is that I'm in my first year of vicar training at Oak Hill College and one of the things they want us to, to do is have experience of different uh, Church of England churches and be involved in them for a year and get to know people there. Um, and so uh, that's how we ended up at St Helens and we've been very glad that we have. It's been really lovely to have you with us. Um, encourage us, tell us something that you've enjoyed about being at St Helens, um, anything you've learned or, um, yeah, over to you. Um, I think I would say I have loved the welcome. I have felt part of a church family all year, which has been really, mm. really lovely. Mm. Um, and our kids have felt part of a church family, which um, is no mean feat when you've got three little kids to say very quickly, we feel part of that church family. Um, I've just, I've loved conversations with people. I've loved getting to know some of the mums in the crash um, really well. Um, that's been, yeah, it's been a definite highlight. We've, I've, we've really loved it. That's, that's definitely true. I mean, the children have felt loved by the older children as well. So that's been a, a all age kind of experience. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think I'd add to that, that I've really appreciated how open people have been, mm. especially those who've been at St. Helens for a while to uh, talk to us, to share a bit about their experience as, as Christians, as churchgoers, mm. what St. Helens has meant to them, um, just to get a bit of a sense of the place and the time and, uh, to be honest with you, Steve, when um, all this lockdown kicked in, I thought, ah, oh, this is really, really difficult. Just as we started to get to, to know people more deeply, um, we're not going to get to see people. But um, I really appreciated um, being part of the Discipleship Explored group on a Sunday um, and a part of a group wrestling with uh, how to love Jesus more and, and what it means to, to know his love. And that's been amazing, actually, and to see how people have grappled so honestly um, together and um, it's been a real joy. And to have people contacting us, finding out how we are, um, being able to be in contact with other people, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been really amazing. Mm. Thank you so much for that encouragement. It's been brilliant to have you with us. And um, yeah, you're right, that discipleship group, uh, explore group was awesome. <laughs> so thank you for everything you've contributed. You mentioned there the whole thing about seeing uh, people. Um, we've got um, we've got something coming up on the 26th of July, I believe, um, uh, which is when this goes out. Oh, I can't remember how many Sunday. Uh, probably one Sunday's time when everyone sees this, um, or maybe two, depending on whether we can get it out uh, uh, straight away. Um, and um, 26th of July is a picnic uh, in Wormwood Scrubs, and uh, it's uh, to get the church together, but it's also a chance to say a sort of uh, bye for the time being to the Amoons. They're always welcome to come back though. Um, tell us as we finish, as you finish your time with us, um, what, are we, what are you praying for us and what can we pray for you? It's a great question. Um, I think we'll, so we'll be praying uh, that the kind of desire to get to, to know Jesus better um, the, that's been seen particularly in those those life groups those growth groups would continue um, I think we'd be praying for for you and the whole of the church as you reflect on how diversity becomes deep inclusion um, around the good news of Jesus despite all kinds of differences um, uh, yes that's what we'll be praying for you yeah and that you continue to be the welcoming church that you are and that people would enjoy walking in and want to keep coming back in mm. um and that um yeah people would see would keep seeing um people loving each other um and see that that's come through the lord jesus yeah. oh, mental, that, bro. <laughs> uh, 
Um, how can we pray for you? Uh, for us, I think you can uh, pray that um, that our beginning, as well as leaving St Helens at a peculiar time, will also be at some point joining a new church family um, in, in an unusual time as well. So you could pray for the beginning of, of that experience and those relationships. Um, uh, and of course that will uh, have elements of, of sadness too. So you could pray for us to remember that God goes with us. Um, and, and I think you can pray that over the course of this summer, um, we would use moments of rest well, um, that we keep encouraging each other in our in Christian faith, uh, in prayer, um, and, uh, and make the most of good time with the children, actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's lovely to hear from different people through through this sort of strange season. So thank you for interviewing us. Absolutely, thank you. <laughs>